<clears throat> Hello. Happy day. Happy day. It's going to rain very soon. Just so exciting. It never rains. <laughs> The precipitation. Hello. <clears throat> yes, you love yourself. Sending all that love. I love myself. It's just so much. So much, guys. We have to normalize telling ourselves that we love ourselves oh my goodness hello Carmen normalize telling saying I love myself it's so important plus it makes it so much better for also people around you when people hear that they're like you know what I love myself too it's so beautiful <laughs> that's one of the most powerful things about self-love and personally I mean I don't like going outside of myself for sources but I've come to the understanding that a lot of people do like going outside of themselves for sources um, sources of happiness so sources of joy um, cure for boredom um, cure for lack of love, cure for lack of self-love. People can be a drug to some people. And it's just so important to get to know yourself, get to love yourself and understand that the source is within yourself of whatever you need at any moment, always. So anything that you're kind of just, oh, I really wish I had that with this person. Oh, I really wish I had that um, in this way. And just turn that around and say, I, ha I have that. You already have that within you. It's just amazing. Aw. <laughs> that's so funny. I, and I know that's you, but I've been reading that as your name forever. Richard Flannel. <laughs> I haven't heard Jordan in so many years. So thank you for that memory and reminder. <laughs> Wonderful. So what I was saying is I don't like reaching outward and going outward for the reason of doing something, but the truth is, is that people do. And so if you find it hard to love yourself, if you find it hard to ground yourself in any kind of form of self-love, understand that you are doing it for other people too it's not just for you I think I covered this a couple weeks ago I had a client um, afraid to she was afraid to become narcissistic she was afraid to love herself too much she said how do I love myself without becoming narcissistic and honestly I was floored I really I really was surprised I'm always I'm always just learning new things about about the self-love journey. Um, my journey, my self-love journey has been, um, forever prominent. I have always loved myself, always, since day zero. Coming out of the womb, I was like, this is my world and everyone in the way needs to move. Like, and that's just me being honest, me being completely honest. And it's what I have to do within my soul because in the society I have found that people, people do really downplay and down talk people that love themselves. They're like, oh, there's no way they love themselves in that way or that deep or they secretly hate themselves or they're not really that happy all the time. When they go home, they're probably super um, sad and upset. Like people go in on people that love themselves. And I'm going to tell you this right now. Don't be afraid. 
do not be afraid because that is going to exist regardless it's always going to exist i'm telling you i took a time i took a while in my 20s um backwards from being so expressive of loving myself because i was like um there was a perception that i was bragging or that i was hurting other people because they were feeling down on themselves and i was like well forget them then they don't get to see me <laughs> they don't get to see me or hear from me at all and where that is the issue absolutely not spread your light spread the fact that there are lights out in the world i have bravely had to exist and accept and exist that i am this light i am a fucking weirdo everywhere i go in this this place of darkness in this place where people are really really retreated inside of themselves and afraid to be expressive this expressive chick walks into the room, this expressive goddess, this expressive spirit, this expressive vessel walks into every room and demands authenticity, demands the energy matched, demands, hello, this is me, this is my embodiment, this is how I show up, what are you doing? <laughs> And uh, gosh, and it's just my energy, truly. I'm a manifester and this is this is one of the really big things that happens. We impact people everywhere we go, whether we want to or not. We invoke people and initiate people whether we want to or not. It's literally just by crossing paths. And so it's very interesting uh, being an observer and watching people react to your bold, audacious energy because it's a trip. Some people, it, it, there are a lot of observations to be had because it it shows you where people are within themselves. You see, I am a I am a mirror of who you are and what you can pick out within another soul so if you see me and you're like oh my goodness why is she so dressed up oh look at her lashes why does she get all glammed up blah 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 what's this necklace that is something to turn around on yourself my love and it's something to really turn around to um, find affirmations from that what is it that you are kind of held back about seeing somebody like this seeing me okay is it that you want lashes do you want to get dressed up do you want to have a dress up day and then do a photo shoot admit it to yourself become a beauty queen for a day become the beauty personally i love being a doll i love being a woman like i am a soul in a human body and i got to be a woman and i got to be this woman like i am so beautiful my vessel is so beautiful and if i'm not dressing up every day or you know every day that i feel like um or just looking good just feeling good it takes seconds to put on an outfit what's the work it takes seconds to do lashes it takes seconds to pop on some lip gloss why not look like a goddess while i'm chilling in my on my throne here why not why not <laughs> Um, so it's a really great uh, call to action when you see something within someone and you're a little bit taken back. You're like, mm, why are they doing that? Ask yourself. Ask yourself what you feel about it. Turn it around and say, I can do that. I can do that too. This is very Lilith vibes I'm getting. Very um, Black Moon Lilith vibes of like what are the the preconceived challenges that you're going to face within... Um, kind of within this darkness you don't know that it's in there much like envy envy you don't know that it's there but it's there and you'll start acting in such a way that um well that is just not aligned energy it's not good energy so that's why you have to know yourself love yourself and just start putting love into every different portions of your of yourself other people are here to activate you. Other people are here to challenge you and show you different ways of existing. And when I go into uh, public in my, <laughs> I'm just a, I'm just a, I just do what I want. I just do what I want and I'm a beautiful light out there. I just make sure that people know that we're souls. I'm like, hello, smile. Yes, there are things going on, but you know, we're going on too, okay? Make some eye contact with people at the grocery store. 
smile bring the smile to your eyes make sure your eyes are smiling as well so that the other people can see that you can smile i think that's like just the most basic um, thing about spreading energy and just being an authentic soul be authentic so that other people can see that people can be authentic <laughs> smile at people so that people can see that there are smiling people <laughs> have gratitude for life so that people can feel that that frequency that gratitude frequency within so that they can feel it too. It's just so many times where people are like, oh, that doesn't exist, and then they just won't, they won't um, explore it. True happiness doesn't exist. True love doesn't exist. True alignment and um, spirits and energies don't exist. But, so what, back to the, the routine of what, watching TV, eating on the couch, I mean, we're in a magical world. It's time to explore, oh my goodness, what your magic is. I remember, yeah, yesterday we were talking about this, igniting your magic. Because it's within you. It's there. It's waiting for you to be activated. And all I ask of you is that you love yourself enough to take the time to listen to yourself. Breathe, 1212. Understand your life. Look at that. <laughs> and understand what's coming your way. Listen to the voices that are going to guide you to your life. And be curious about it. Who are you gonna become? I'm a totally different person than I was a year ago. Wow. Let's breathe on that. Let's breathe on it. Mm. Just feel how powerful self-love is. Feel how powerful self-love can be. <laughs> feel how powerful you can be. please please come back and share with me share with me what powers you activate this year and next year and the next year i'll let you know too right now i well i've been working on um air bending energy moving and air bending since since june i just picked up this 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 call to energy or like this call to action and I was like let me try to move that tree <laughs> hello and I was like okay so let me try to move that tree and I just sat and meditated and just started doing whatever and playing around so you never know what your magic is until you just sit still and feel into it. I have a lot of magic. I have a lot of powers in me, but Okay. <laughs> so let's pause. Let's pause. Let's pause. It is the pause. You're going to have to watch the replay for everything I just said. <laughs> mm, deep breath. Exhale, wholeness, <laughs> nice inhale, and this time feel your rib cage expand, even feel your back expand as you just invite this fresh, whew, deep breath into your body. Your body that you are so grateful for. <sighs> Slow. 
slowly exhaling. <sighs> Keep doing that. Keep blessing your body.
deep breath. And exhale. Audible exhale. Yes. I've been called to tell you to step outside in the rain today. And the precipitation wherever you are. If it's not raining for you where you are, when it indeed does, I've been told to tell you to go out into the rain. Dance in the rain, darling. It's waiting for you. Also, a little bonus, collect some rain. Use the rain water in a ritual as a crow, just flying in the rain. <laughs> okay, we're back. I was meditating earlier on my walk. I went on a walk and I was meditating and I opened my eyes from sitting there for a while. Hello. <laughs> and um, it was just dark all of a sudden. It was just dark. And I was like, whoa. It, it looks like I was in a whole nother world from when I closed my eyes. That has to be like, I mean, that's a really cool experience to have to just go into meditation and then uh, come out and you're just like, <sighs> especially after the downloads, you're like, oh my goodness. I've been getting downloads to sing, to sing my songs. I looked at my recordings and I heard a lot that I love. So I'm gonna let it out. I'm gonna let you hear my song. <laughs> Do you wanna hear my songs? Mm. Okay, back to you. Let's get you what you need. Let's get let's get you a little message. <laughs> The new moon deck. The new moon deck. Here we are, kindred love. Kindred love. Kindred love. La, 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 la. All right. Take note of how you are feeling right now. Take note of what you are feeling right now. You know what, before we do this message, I'm being called to um, run through a, a body awakening real quick. Not real quick, within divine timing, divine alignment. So go out and take some deep breaths, deep breaths. Arms and hands in front of you like this. Mm, wiggle your fingers. Invite your thumb in there, wiggle your fingers. Keep inviting the deep breaths and roll your wrists around. Other direction. Oh, awaken your body. Begin the flowing motion to your elbows. Feel it reach your arm sockets. Are you still moving your fingers and your wrists? <laughs> mm. Invite your shoulders rolling forward, rolling backwards. <sighs> Reverse the directions. Oh, add some neck rolls. Start moving your arms around. Move them around. <laughs> Inhale. 
add whatever other movement. Oh my goodness. And the way that you moved your, your arms and your wrists, see if you can get your hips in that exact motion, excuse me, exact motion. I'm like moving energy in here. Mm. Now as we move, we invite gratitude. We invite life. We invite light into our vessel. Oh, you feel through your arms getting a little fatigued. That's life. Bringing that into your body, honoring your body, giving yourself everything you need. Wow. Definitely try that later with the legs involved as well. Mm. Add in some more shoulder rubs. Mm. You're gonna do an inhale and hum it out. Hum. Whatever note comes out, you're activating your throat chakra. Hmm. One more. Take your hand out just like this and you're just gonna start patting we're only gonna do our arms but you're gonna pat your fingers your hands all the way up oh yes yeah, just activating bringing the life into your body and flip it around and make your way back down clapping back up Cross to your chest, invite the other hand, and wake it, make its way down. <laughs> mm, yes, that is great, right there. Flip it around, and make your way back. How does that feel? How does that feel right now? Deep breath as you come to a stillness. A deep breath as you come into a stillness. A deep breath as you come into a stillness. A deep breath. Hello, hello. All right, what message are we gonna end on? How did that feel? Did you like the tapping? The tapping, what is the message today? <laughs> what have we got? Oh my goodness, stop. We love it, look at this. <laughs> Happy body. What did we just do? My, and it's card number 33. Get out of here. My body gives and receives pleasure and is a vehicle for divine and loving expression of desire. <laughs> I enjoy the sensual pleasures of this world through my body, receiving each sensation of pleasure and gratitude and surrender. Mm, that's delicious. Stone turquoise, essential oil, ginger. Happy body. Take care of that body. Take care of that soul and allow in the pleasantries in this Scorpio season, you sexy being. <laughs> mm, and 
enjoy your self love, enjoy your self time, and enjoy that happy body. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me. Have the best day in the world that you can ever dream of. Go outside into the rain and feel it on your body. Goodbye. <laughs>